Okay. So problem statement. A beam AB of stem 3 meter or hanging on both sides is loaded as shown in figure. Determine the reaction at support A and B. Okay. So at A and B it is simply supported. At A to C and B to D it is overhanging beam. First of all, draw the free body diagram of C to D stem. So at A it is simply supported. At A and at B it is simply supported beam. That is we call it is RA, reaction RA. And at B it is reaction RB. Okay, RB. So at C it is one point load it is acted. It is in downward direction. That's point load it is one kilonewton. Okay, one kilonewton. Okay, then C to A distance it is 1.5 meter. C to A distance it is 1.5 meter. Okay, then A to E it is UDL load. Convert it is in point load. So this UDL load convert it is in point load. So point load it is acted center of A to center of A to E. So this point load it is converted it is in sorry this UDL load it is converted it is in point load. UDL load intensity it is two kilonewton per meter. So it is acted A to E. A to E distance it is two meter. So two into two it will be four kilonewton. Okay. So four kilonewton just show it is four kilonewton it is in downward direction. Okay. Four kilonewton. 4 kilonewton. So this acted center of A to E. Center of A to D, E means 1 meter from A. 1 meter from A. Okay. 1 meter from A and 1 meter from E. Okay. 1 meter from E. So at E it is 3 kilonewton load it is acted in downward direction. So just say this is 3 kilonewton load it is acted. So this distance it is 1 meter. From four kilonewton, one meter from four kilonewton. Okay, one meter. Okay. Then next one it is at B it is reaction. So this E to B distance it is also one meter distance. Okay. This three minus two it will be get one meter. Okay. This so this one it is one meter. Okay, one meter. So now B to D it is UDL load. Convert it is in point load. B to D convert it is in point load. That is one kilonewton per meter, one kilonewton per meter, or the distance of B to D. B to D distance it is one. So one into one, it will be one kilonewton. Okay, this UDL load we have converted it is in point load. So it is acted center of B to D. So just show here this one kilonewton load in downward direction. So distance it is this distance it is 0.5 meter, and this distance is also 0.5 meter. So just write down here 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this one it is also 0 0.5 meter, 0 0.5 meter. Okay. So now apply the equilibrium equation for that. Summation of M A is equal to zero. Summation of M A is equal to zero. Summation of M A is equal to zero. So for that assumption, if the moment it is clockwise direction, it will be take negative. So moment clockwise direction. It will be take negative. If the moment it is anti-clockwise direction, it will be take positive. If the moment it is anti-clockwise direction, it will be take positive. Okay. So A means it is here. So we need to take moment here. Okay. This is A point. Okay. So it starts from C to D. So first of all, one kilonewton load. How it is rotating about the A? It is rotation anti-clockwise direction. Rotation it is anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So that's why it will be plus one into one into perpendicular distance it is. So this one kilonewton to a distance. So this distance it is 1.5 meter. Okay. So one into 1.5, one into 1.5. Then next one it is four kilonewton. So this four kilonewton, how it is rotating about the a, so it will be. Clockwise direction rotation. So clockwise direction we are considering negative. So it will be minus four minus one meter. Yeah, the distance is one meter. Okay. So that's why it will be one meter. Okay. So multiply by it will be one meter. One meter. Okay. The next one it is three kilonewton. So three kilonewton, how it is rotating about the A? It is also clockwise direction rotation. So clockwise direction we are considering is negative value. 
so it will be minus 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 4 into 4 into perpendicular distance it is sorry minus 3 into sorry it will be minus now minus 4 into perpendicular distance is 1 okay now next one it is minus 3 kilo newton so next this 3 kilo newton how it is rotating about the a so it is rotating clockwise direction rotation clockwise direction it is minus minus 3 into minus 3 into so perpendicular distance it is a2 so this distance it is 1 plus 1 it is 2 2 meter so multiply by minus 3 into 2 okay so next one it is rb so now rb it will be there. so rb how it is rotating about the a here yeah, rb about the a it will be rotation anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise direction it is plus so plus rb into perpendicular distance it is so this distance it is 3 meter a2 b distance so 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is 3 meter so multiply by 3 rb into 3 okay so next one it is 1 kilo newton here 1 kilo newton how it is rotating about the a so it will be also clockwise direction rotation so it is rotation clockwise direction so minus 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 1 into perpendicular distance it is here this distance it is so this distance 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is 3 3 plus 0.5 so it will be 0 0.5 3.5 sorry 3.5 5 is equal to 0. So from this relation, it will be get. So 1 into 1.5, then minus 4 into 1, then minus 3 into 2, minus 3 into 2. So minus 1 into 3.5, 3.5. So minus 12, minus 12 plus plus RB into 3, RB into 3, RB into 3 is equal to 0. So from this relation, it will get Rb is equal to Rb is equal to 4 kilo newton. 4 kilo newton. Okay. So this net will get Rb value. Okay. So now apply second equilibrium equation that is summation Fy is equal to 0. Summation Fy is equal to 0. Summation Fy is equal to 0. So now, first of all, this 1 kilo newton load is going downwards. So minus 1. So for that assumption, first of all, assumption. The force it is upward, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is upward, so it will be positive. If the down, if the direction of force it is downward, it will be negative. The direction of force it is downward, it will be negative. Okay. So first of all, one kilometer it is going downwards, so minus one. Then R A it is going upward, so plus R A. Then next four kilonewton is also going downwards, so minus four. Then three kilonewton it is also going downwards, so minus three, minus three. Then this RB it is going upward, so plus RB. Then one kilonewton it is going downwards, so minus one is equal to zero. So put RB value we know that. So just put RB value minus one plus RA. Then minus four, minus three. Then RB it is 4 then minus 1 is equal to 0. So from this relation it will get array value. So it will be actually minus okay. minus 1 array plus then I will write one side. Just put. So minus 1 plus array then minus 4 minus 3 then plus RB value it is 4 kilo newton, then minus 1 is equal to it is 0. So from this relation, it will be RA value. So RA is equal to write down minus 1, minus 4, minus 3, plus 4, minus 1. So it will be minus 5 kilo newton. So take it is right side, it will be a 5 kilo newton, 5 kilo newton, plus 5 kilo newton. Okay. So this is your RA value. So write down here R A is equal to it is 5 kilo newton and R B is equal to it is 4 kilo newton. R B is equal to it is 4 kilo newton. Okay, this is your final answer. Okay.